Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. I've gotten all I can from that. Interesting. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. She was my baby. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Hmm. A toy dog. A candy bar. Yuck. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. What? Why? You raped her. What? Who? Lucy. That's ridiculous. I... 
Could you maybe shit you know it's please if you please tell me about Luther and Lance. The you're not lie to me. Go ahead. You'll only do it once. Animals. It was my animals. Some of them were fake. You won't. You can't tell anyone. My reputation. Your reputation? Unbelievable. No! The tiger was real. I swear it. My precious one. She was my baby. I sacrificed everything to get that tiger. And now she's dead. Clovis wanted Runciter to suffer, but I wanted him dead. If there was a hell, maybe we both got what we wanted. Something about the bastard made my flesh crawl. I'd done the city a favor, and maybe I'd done him a favor too, since his animals were all dead. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? Zilcho, real actions inside, abstract art, all over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Tôi rất mong anh làm nhà mình. Tôi rất mong anh làm nhà mình.